Hi everybody, welcome on back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dead in Bermuda. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a while and continue working on people's sickness while exploring the island. We got enough medicinal herbs to make it happen, so we might as well. Let's get everybody zeroed out that we can. And everybody that's up a little ways, we can work on that too. It's not that big of a deal. I think we've got everybody down to really sort of low thresholds. She's got a level up, so let's go ahead and take a look at Julia here. I think... We will finish maxing out scavenging, and then after scavenging, we'll probably start working on stealth a little bit further, just to make sure that she can infiltrate any location we need her to. After the stealth is done, I'll probably work on exploration a bit, and after exploration, we'll probably work on fighting. But in all honesty, welcome on back to Dead in Bermuda. We don't really need the fighting as of right now, so things should be okay. Sickness is getting a little bit up on them, but it should be alright as we go towards the future. Bob's fatigue and his problems are back down, so let's go ahead and handle that. She is depressed, which is a little bit of a downer, and I don't mean that to be punny, but it might be better off if we take them over here and we have them work on depression together for a bit because, eh, there are things that need to get done, but none of them are actually that vital, though. Like, we are looking really, really solid right now. Probably take him and have him explore for a bit. Oh, there it is. Her harvesting is going fantastically. We've got 35 fruits. How are we doing on water supplies? How are we doing on fire patrol? 75 right there. We'll take that up to 86. Yeah, we'll take it up to 100. Why not? And so let's keep going. Three fresh fish down. It's going to allow us to get three tasty meals out. I love tasty meals. Anything that tastes good. Honestly, I'm a big fan. Like, I have a problem with eating out, actually. And, yes, giggity. Do whatever you want with that. Do whatever you want with that. I'm not going to make the joke myself, although I do realize that the giggity is me myself making a joke. Yes, that's part of the joke is that, you know, I'm making the joke while pretending to not make the joke. That's, it's a shtick. It's, I've been doing it for a very, very long time. It's just a stick with an extra H. Maybe an extra C or something. Eight medicinal plants right there. So that'll help out as well, although sickness is going to rise tonight, and so we just have to hope that Contagion doesn't jump around in between people. Exploration! What can you accomplish, buddy? Ah, well, you didn't get anything done, but it's okay. Exploration's going to be a little bit rough in the middle of the game, but it is what it is. So Alejandro, you're single. How do you know? Alice told me. Alice knows everything about us. Yeah, it's true. She would have made a good spy. Not really. After a while, everybody wants to kill her, and that's never a good cover for spy. Yeah, I guess she can be a little annoying at times, but she has a good heart. To babysit a big baby like Bob? Yeah, she has heart and courage. Nah, he's a good guy too. He's always nice. He can be. This is the best diet program of his life, and he doesn't have to pay for it. <laughs> Maybe. You're mean, Julia, but you're funny. Apparently, they're getting along. So everybody only went up by a little bit on their sickness right there, so we should be really, really solid here. Can't wait to get back out there and start exploring and see what the island has for us. I will more than likely circumnavigate Alice as usual and just give her fish because her sickness goes down all by its lonesome. If you haven't been watching the series, that's her special ability is that she can't get sick. Like, it's physically impossible for her to get sick. It's a pretty fantastic ability, and to be honest, I wish other people had it. I wish that I had it in real life. I have a really good immune system in real life. I don't get sick very often, but I say every 8 to 10 years I get really, really, really sick. I've only had the flu twice in my entire life. I had the stomach flu when I was like six, and I will say that the stomach flu was possibly the worst sickness I've ever had. I had food poisoning one time too that knocked me out for a couple of days. My mom almost died of food poisoning. No kidding, no joke right there. When I was a kid, we went on vacation, and my mom had food at A&W. And after she ate, she said that her burger didn't taste right. And then after we ate at A&W, she got sick for like a week and a half. She had to go to the hospital and everything. Because she got super sick, which then after a week of being sick, she got dehydrated and it was just, it was bad. It was real bad. I've never seen somebody almost like die of food poisoning before. Like she wasn't going to die, but she was really, really sick. Like if we didn't live in a modern country where you could go to a hospital and get like fixed, she would have been in big trouble because after five or six days, she was feeling no better. She was still feeling really, really sick. It was Narnar. Oh, okay. So we got scavenging done right there. That's good. Cookings. I forgot that he was good at cooking, actually. I totally forgot about that skill. It's a skill that I forgot that he had, so... Eh. Fatigue's a little high right here, so let's go ahead and have her rest out for a bit. Got a little bit right there. Depression's kind of mounting on that side, but I really would like to use it, so... Maybe we'll fish one more time and hope for a big haul, and then if we get a good haul, I'll put him back in to work on his depression in a little bit. Her fatigue's up, but we should be good. I forgot to move him somewhere, so that was a little bit of a waste of a turn, but we should be alright. 
Ooh, we only got three, huh? Well... It's not good, but it's not bad either. I mean, we have more than enough fruit to fix the problem. Technically, if you can get your harvesting up high enough, pretty sure you could just survive off fruit for the most part. Only got four medicinal plants right there. Not exactly what I was going for, but we'll work on all of our random sicknesses in just a minute. I got food poisoning for a while. I got it at Jama Juice, actually, which is like a... It's not a milkshake place. They make smoothies. Make ice cream smoothies out of, like, fresh fruit and stuff, and... I got poison. I got food poisoning at Jamba Juice, which totally sucked. Either that or my boss poisoned it, because my boss got it for me when he was at Jamba Juice. I was friends with my boss at the time. That's kind of a waste to use that on her, but at the same time, who has the worst sickness here? I think he does. So we'll go with the last 12% right there, just to get those numbers down to where they're acceptable. Shit! I really dislike that. I'm gonna go back and reload that real quick. I'll be right back. That was my bad, guys. I, I can't stick that out. I keep wasting my pills accidentally because it jumps to the beginning of the loot list when you're, like, auto-clicking like that. And so, unfortunately, it got us into trouble. The plus side is that we got a better roll on our herbs this time around, so I was able to get everybody fixed up 100%. So nobody in our group is sick anymore. How awesome is that? Nobody in our group is sick anymore. Let's take Alice over here. We're going to have her cook some fish for dinner. There's not a lot of fish to go around, but it'll be enough. We'll put Bob on that duty right there. Jacob hates everybody, so... I'd prefer to put him on something that will just kind of be off by himself. Maybe he'll research for a while. I just don't want him near anybody else. He makes it all worse. We haven't researched anything in a long-ass time, so I figure we'll give that a go. He doesn't have a lot of knowledge skills, but at the same time, eh, it's something to work on, so I think we'll be good. I'll probably take... Let's see here. What did I schedule? Oh, yeah, I had a big fishing trip. Fifteen fresh fish! Swafoof! Man, we got a bunch of fish out of there. Good to go. Hell yeah. Alright, so it's time. We're gonna get some exploration done here. Unless there's any catastrophic events that we get out. I think we- ooh, 12 medicinal plants too, so that'll help us front stock. Oh shit, her fatigue's really high. I didn't realize her fatigue was that bad. Eh, hopefully we don't have a nasty event tonight. But they need to sleep tomorrow, and then I'll probably have people work on just gathering general supplies so we can build all the extra stuff. I can't take it anymore. How are we supposed to survive? The only one that's trained to survive is the one we can't trust. He's a psycho. And even if we manage to survive, what's the point? I don't see any way to escape this damned island. We're trapped here and no help will come. Worked all my life like a madman. Was gonna think about me for a while, but no. Is that too much to ask for? We're doomed. I must not show to the others, but we are clearly doomed. Damn, dude. He's in a dark place right now. So everybody, nobody's sick anymore. How awesome is that? I guess you could say that this situation is super sick. I don't know. That used to be the slang around here anymore. People don't say sick too much anymore. They used to say it a lot more than they do now. Go ahead and I don't care if you get sick. Do whatever you gotta do. Everybody else, we have so many fruits laying around now that I'm not really worried about that either. There we go. So that'll be nice. Everything's good right there. We got another day until our fire intensity gets completely and totally out of order. I think we've got eight fish. I'll probably have her hang out and cook that for a while. Fatigue is good on that side. Her fatigue is like catastrophically low though. So let's go ahead and we'll sit her over here. Winters could use a day off, too. Their depression's a little bit iffy, but they should be alright. His fatigue will be okay for, like, maybe one more turn. And then on this side, what I wanted to do is let's focus on nothing in particular. I mean, just focus on getting everything while we're here so that we can start building some of the new stuff. And so, knowledge. We're gonna keep working on that as knowledge is gonna level up. It's never a bad plan to actually put somebody on something that they're bad at because it means they get free level ups in it. And they'll level up pretty quickly up until they get to around 45, 50 in the skill. So, they tend to almost get a skill up almost every other turn, so that'll be cool. Little bit of heartbreak right there. Apparently, the ladies just weren't getting along. We got seven fresh fish on that side. We gotta wait and see how we're gonna be able to prepare that on up. But that keeps us covered for the day, so we should be alright. You got three wood, two stone, two rope, and one medicinal plant, so that'll be good. Let's take a look at some of these new zones that we have. Or do we only have one new zone? His constitution went up too, so that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and take him off fatigue duty because I think he's losing efficiency right now at the things that he's trying to do. Her injury's alright, but let's go ahead and have everybody just chillax for a second. And let's get their depression back down. How's he doing on this side? Fatigue's good. Injury, man, I can't believe we survived that. That was a really... This game is tough on the front end. It really sincerely is. And I'm not sure... See, the indication, I don't know... The game is tuned to be difficult right now, and so the developer up on the forums, I kind of feel bad for the guy because, 
a lot of people, there's people who are like, the game's too easy, there's people who's like, the game is too hard, there's people who can't survive past like day five, and there's people that are like, I could get to day 80 with my eyes closed on my first playthrough. So I kind of feel bad for the guy, because he's always desperately changing and tuning things, but ah, such is the life of a game dev, I guess. Such is the life. Everybody thinking you don't know what you do, and just being like, rah, 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 and back talking you, and just being a problem. I don't know. I'm one of those people that takes critique seriously. What was I talking about before this? Oh yeah, I was talking about getting sick. So anyways, I don't get sick that often. I got a pretty good immune system. And so in general, I don't get sick hardly ever. However, I have been very, very sick once or twice. Not like on the edge of death, but the stomach flu was no joke. That shit sucked. Let us forgive each other. Only then will we live in peace. Nonsense. Forgiveness is for the weak. I want revenge. The two most powerful warriors are patience and time. If you think you'll sleep with me tonight, ah, oh, we already got this one, I think. So his depression just went up. Luckily, he's already working on that. We've already got a station for that, so it's not that big of a deal. We should be good. We have 15 meals. My god, we are stacked up right now. I want to get to the drying rack next so that when we have huge amounts of fish, we should be able to save a lot of it and turn it into jerky instead. I think the jerky is a little bit more equitable for us over the long term. Some of these are going to convert into normal meals. But that should be all right. Three out of your seven tasty meals have gone into meals. Okay, so we got a bunch of rotten food, but everything should be all right. Everything is looking good for the first time in a long time. For the first time. We got... Yeah, we could use some wood over here, I guess. Let's go ahead and have him focus on gathering wood for now. And that'll go four to nine as soon as the rest of our team is all nice and done taken care of. So do you not generate much fatigue anymore? Once you have a maxed out skill, you just like know how to do it without getting yourself into trouble? He's pretty awesome. Did we get all the fish cooked, or is she sitting over here, like, pointlessly? She's sitting over there pointlessly. Alright, let's have her on exploration duty, then. Fire's about to die down. Eh, yeah, I'll do it. Whatever. It'll be okay. Knowing my luck with the way my rolls go with this campfire. This campfire is just my never-ending enemy. My never-enemy. My never-enema? Ew, that would suck. That would be hell right there. It's the never-enema washing your butt out. Either that or it's kind of like that feeling you get when you go water skiing, but you fall down kind of like ass first. It's like, zoop, straight up the hole. So much fun. Or like when you go to the water park and you go on one of those rides and like you hit and you like jam real fast when you go around a corner. So you stop clenching for a second. It's like, zoop, straight up the booty. There are many situations in this life that make me scared. And anything that puts water up the booty, I'm just not okay with that. It sucks. We have two new zones. Whoa, hey, what's going on, huge creepy guy? This dude's sitting out here majestically just like, yes! Is he Dionysus? He's on top of a whole bunch of, like, random grapes. Do we talk to him? What goes into this? Fighting and stealth? Oh, really? Weird. Alright, let's go with her then. The huge creepy guy is waving at you to come near him with an inviting yet uneasy smile. Are you Johnny, you ask? And as you say these words, he freezes. He stares deeply into the void, agony creeping on his face. And as abruptly as he shut down, he recovers his gaping smile and starts yelling, But of course! I'm sorry, my friends, I didn't see you earlier. This party is way too crowded, and some of them don't belong here, if you know what I mean. His exaggerated wink makes you all the more uncomfortable. But well, you didn't come to my house to hear me rambling. What can I do for you, friend? You know anything about a prophecy? A prophecy, you say? Hmm. I may know something about that. It's not really something to discuss in the middle of a party, though. That's a serious matter. Very serious. Pieces of information on that would be very valuable to you, right? His smile turns predatory. I could tell you what I know about the prophecy, but in exchange for something. A tiny something. Don't be afraid. I invited you to my house, so certainly you could return the favor, right? I want you to cook for me the best meal you could do. That's what friends do for each other in any way. So come on, show me some love. Okay, so he wants a tasty meal. Give him a tasty meal then. You give a tasty meal to Johnny, his face beaming with joy. He looks like a child with a new toy. You never saw somebody eat as dirty as him, half of the food falling into his belly skin folds. Ew, for later use maybe. So now can we talk? Johnny is still stuffing his face while you ask him again about the prophecy. Ah, uh, yes, the prophecy. Serious business is that. So there is a certain prophecy. I don't know the details, but I do know the rewards. It said that one who is able to accomplish the prophecy will deliver us from all evil and will be granted freedom. It's an old saying, so it must be true. There'd be somebody around here who knows the specifics. I'm no scholar myself. So who would that be? There's another serious question. He winks again, and I'm feeling terribly bored by your seriousness. He's still smiling, but you sense a terrible threat in his eyes. 
I'll tell you, but this time I want to eat something new. Something wild, something entertaining, a meal worthy of more than a king. I'm sure you can fight it in the jungle around here. He winks. So he wants a meal worthy of a king, huh? So we've got a pair of giant eggs. You see two giant eggs in a giant nest. After you waited for a bit, you hear eagle cries from time to time. The air is filled with danger. And they've got numbers on them. So it takes a bunch of different checks to get this done. Oh, it takes knowledge. Okay, so that's gonna suck. Everything is dangerously silent around here, despite the occasional... It's weird that it tells you other skills that are relevant, but knowledge was not on the list, was it? I don't think that it was. Knowledge check and we failed. It's just two giant eggs. It'll make a good meal for everybody tonight. You decide to take them, but as you approach, you are suddenly attacked by a giant eagle, a creature with wings running you with their giant claws. Ooh! Okay, so we need somebody with knowledge then. She's got knowledge. So we ponder it. You think about it for a while and you remember Johnny's words, a meal worthy of more than a king. These two giant eggs would surely make an astonishing meal, and if these eggs are of a giant eagle, it would be an imperial eagle, the emperor, the king of kings. Johnny the Ugly would buy this story, you're pretty certain, for right now. Let's hide for a while. I like to stick with the things I have the best chance of. You hide for a while near the nest, waiting for the right moment between eagle cries to make your move. You crawl to the egg silently. They are at arm's reach when you see a giant wingless eagle beast walking towards you. What do you decide? Stealth again. You take the eggs and quickly hide not far from here in a bush. You see the giant bird coming to the nest and squeaking with anger. She searches the area around you. You don't dare breathe anymore and close your eyes. As you reopen them, the beast is nowhere to be seen. You can go back to camp, wary but safe. So we got egg three and egg four. So, what was here? Oh yeah, the big fig tree, okay. And is she still exploring, by the way, on this side? Is she doing her thing? Okay, so she's still exploring. We should have more than enough food to keep us good for a while, but her injury is kind of bad. 20% injury is kind of on the threshold of where I'd like her to be, so let's go ahead and eliminate that real fast. Just in case it decides to get worse, which is actually the thing that I'm contemplating at the moment. Depression's a little bit out of control on a lot of people, too, so... We got injury. We can put them back to fishing, I guess. And she's exploring. Was there anything to cook, by the way? By the by. So we got six meals. We'll be good. I think we got six meals and six people or eight people. I don't know how many we have. I'm gonna have him keep working on wood, I suppose. He's good at working the wood anyways. We didn't talk about what his job was back in Russia, but he was one of the fanciest gigolos you could hire. Crazy stuff. You guys haven't heard that in the backstory yet, but I totally saw it on a wiki that I was Googling late at night by myself with the door closed. <laughs> yeah, four, four, and eight right there. One fresh fish. Oh, consistently, ah, well, whatever. Whatever. We didn't really need to fish right now anyway, so we had six wood on that side. I'd like to consider the possibility of getting some more utilities built. I don't know how much more research we have to go either, but considering we spent so much time trying to catch up with our research and crafting, I feel like our best opportunity right now is just to stay ahead on it. We met another weirdo. I fear we'll only find lunatics on this island. He winked at me. I didn't want to go anywhere near him anymore. He seemed to know about the prophecy, though. You see, I told you, I'm sure there's something to dig up here. He's even larger than Bob. He must have access to a lot of food resources somehow. You know my stand on that. Capture him, make him talk, and take all his resources. No, no way. It's true that even a portion of his food would mean a lot to us. I can't accept that. I want to be able to look myself in a mirror when we get back home. No robbing. If we get back home. So I guess that made everybody's depression go back up. Yay. More depression. So let's take the big meals and we'll drop those on the people that really need it. At that point, we'll start on everybody else. I suppose I could have gave her the fish. It's okay. We got food around, so... There it is. Water supplies. Everything actually looks really, really solid right now. I'd be getting tired of the like, fruits and stuff at this point. I'd be like, damn, can we not have fish? We've had nothing. I'm not a big fan of fish anyways. I'm not a big fish eater. I do like halibut and some stuff like that, but in general... 
I don't eat fish very often just because I don't enjoy it that much. It's not a thing that I like. What's this over here? We've got a hollow tree. We can search it or we can chop it. Let's go scavenging on this side. Just gonna stealth our way in. Succeeded at that. You search inside the tree in the dark places hoping you won't get bitten. So we got a lucky charm and a skull. Eight soy sprouts, so that's kind of cool. I suppose we could chop the tree if we really, really wanted to. Although we need a big guy to go in there and his injury's getting higher and higher. We probably have to make a stealth check too, right? Yeah. So she failed that and then she got bit by a, a husk snake of some kind. Did 20% damage, which is pretty brutal too. And so we chop down the tree, we get a little bit of fatigue, that's going to clear the zone out. Go back to camp, wood is what we've been looking for the most anyways, although I would like to get medical supplies. His depression and fatigue are pretty high, bring him over here, we'll have him start working on stuff too. He'll feel right as rain shortly enough. And how is our research coming along? Our research is just chilling at 88%, how's his fatigue though? Ah, he'll be fine. Yay, almost there. I mean, he's contributing in his own special way. Depression goes down based on the talkativity skills of everybody that's around. That's going to allow some of these people to leave the campfire because their fatigue is going to fall down low enough. That also gave us a little bit of positive reputation with each other, which is good as well. 13 fresh fish right there, which is a really, really big haul, so I'm happy about that. On this side, she should be able to explore pretty aggressively, but I think her fatigue is going to start nerfing her skills and her efficiency pretty soon. So we'll bring her back over to this side. These guys are all looking fantastic. And with 15 food, I mean, technically, I could have him cook, I guess. He's got 75 cooking. That'll do. Everybody who's not depressed, what are you doing right now? You've got fatigue. Let's go ahead and put you on gatherer duty. You've got not much fatigue, just a little bit of injury. We'll put you back on harvesting. You, milady, we'll have you work on exploring. No, no, that's all that I wanted. There we go. You can right click to lock them on your cursor. And then we've got depression, depression, that looks good. I think I'm happy with where everybody else is at for right now. We'll go ahead and bypass it, he's gonna finish that momentarily. And so he's researched a way for us to create drugs, which is really, really good. There's some plants we found on the island that could be turned into real medicine if we take the time to study them. So where do we craft those at is my only question. I don't know if we cook them perhaps. You got seven tasty meals right there. And then we got 11, or I'm sorry, four normal meals. Some of that fish is unfortunately going to have to run the risk. The fish is going to be risking having a brisk duration, I suppose. It's going to rot away on us, so what else are you going to do about it? I think that for right now, I'm happy with the spot that we're at. So I think I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Bermuda. Dead in Bermuda, that is. I know the name of the games I'm playing. I will see you all later. Hi, do, everybody.